So I was an idiot yesterday and I updated the um, the Samsung firmware uh, software update to the newest version, which that I'm not an idiot for, but um, I actually forgot to check out the, um, the OSD settings. So what you have to do is you have to go into the menu and then go to system. And then you have to go all the way down. As you can see right here, this little bar, you can see there's a little bit of space underneath. So that means that you can actually go down, which is something I completely did not see yesterday. Uh, I've been in this menu multiple times, but not for a long time anymore because I was like, well, just wait for the updates. So apparently now you have this auto source switch, which I think is new. By activating a new connected source is displayed automatically, so that's nice. Um, which means if you have HDMI, you plug that in, it switches over. Um, configure the response rate of a button when the button is pressed. Don't really care about that. The power LED is something that's still normal, I think. And then we have the variable refresh rate control, which is now set to on. And yesterday I tested it without the uh, VRR control on. And I still had some flickering in HitFilm, which is the uh, default app that I use to edit videos with. If Even if I use it uh, or if I ever edit videos, I use HitFilm. So yeah, Sync GPU graphics processing unit provides optimal gaming conditions. So this reduces the um, the tear, uh, the tearing and stuff like that. Um, so it ups the, the whole control. Now people are asking me, does it only go to 144 Hertz? I actually don't know. I read or read on the internet that it says that it only goes to 144 Hertz. I don't know the details from it, but um, I actually have a new question. Do you need to turn this on and also have it on on Windows? Because the screen renders everything, right? I mean, Windows is still the stuff where everything runs on, but the screen renders the, the whole gameplay thing uh, together with your uh, GPU. So I don't know. I have both VRR on the Windows and I have it on, on the monitor, but it seems to work for me. Um, also, I used to get like all these these vertical stripes. Uh, it's difficult to see. As far as I know, they're not there. Normally you can see it on this one right here on YouTube, but you can see the individual pixels right now. I had the, uh, or I mean, not, not the vertical stripes, the horizontal stripes. Uh, really weird, but whatever, you know, this is all fine. Um, so this is interesting and we'll see how this all goes. I hope there will be people um, reacting to this video and let me know how everything works for you if the flickering is fixed and if you think the monitor is better now so thanks for watching please leave a like and subscribe because that helps me out thanks again stay safe